Rejection. I can take it. I've been rejected by some of the finest science fiction magazines in the continental United States. Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by. I thought it was only appropriate, seeing as on my last video featured, uh, or was news about uh, the upcoming NECA uh, Friday 13th Part 7, The New Blood Ultimate Jason Voorhees figure. Very exciting. Apparently coming out in December. Um, so I figured, you know, this is just like that uh, 25th anniversary NECA box set thing that I had. This has also been, you know, displayed in an area that doesn't see much traffic. And I actually, you know, I keep forgetting that I even have this thing. And it's actually really, really amazing and something that deserves to be featured in a more prominent spot. I just don't have got so much junk and not a lot of, you know, place to prominently feature stuff. Um, so I thought, it, like I said, it's only appropriate to do a, a video following the, the NECA New Blood Ultimate figure news with a, basically an ultimate, uh, you know, NECA Friday 13th Part 7 New Blood figure from the past. Basically, this is an 18-inch Jason Voorhees figure from Friday 13th Part 7, the New Blood that NECA put out. And this is an absolutely amazing Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees figure. Absolutely amazing. When this thing came out, I was like, oh my god, I must have it. So I got it. I have no idea what I paid for it. Maybe it was like 35 or 40 dollars. Completely and totally worth it. I mean, it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, I, I, may, I may have taken it a little bit for granted when this came out, but maybe not because this thing is just so freaking awesome and I think at the time this was like I don't know if this was the first this might have been the first like rendition of any kind of may have very well have been the first rendition of any figure version of Jason from Friday the 13th part 7 in 2003 that was just the beginning of when you know toy manufacturers and stuff were really starting to realize that there was a huge market for figures from these horror movies, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and a whole plethora of other horror movies, of course. But uh, 2003 was the, be you know, beginning, I won't say very beginning, because, you know, their McFarlane toys, you know, came out in the late, uh, the late 90s and stuff. But it was around the beginning of the era, which is now just catapulted into this huge, you know, toy, uh, you know, there's this huge toy market of obviously now is well known for just all kinds of movies or all kinds of toys for all kinds of movies from the past, you know, horror movies and action movies and, and fantasy films and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, this is, as I said, absolutely amazing. And what's so cool is this chain around his neck is like, a, you know, it's not, it's a real chain. I don't, I think it's plastic, but it's actually like a, a real chain that's, you know, a plastic chain that's, actually around his neck and it dangles and what's so great about this thing is it's actually got like he's got his rib cage and stuff underneath but the shirt is actually like rubberish plastic stuff that's hanging down over the rib cage and his rotting flesh underneath so it's actually you know kind of has a real layered aspect to it you know the sculpt and just the overall design of this figure um, I, I, I've taken still photos, but I just, I'll also just go like this and show you like this. It's absolutely, I mean, pretty much basically a perfect rendition of, you know, the very first Kane Hodder Jason from, you know, the New Blood. Um, turn it around here. And as I said, I've probably, I don't know if I've shown you the photos yet or not, but if I haven't shown you the photos yet, I definitely will. So you can get a closer look at the New Blood NECA 18-inch Jason Voorhees figure from 2003. But I remember when this thing came out, I was just like, oh yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. And what's so great about it, unlike so many other figures that I have, is this one just really stands solid. I mean, it's not, it doesn't want to feel like it wants to tip or anything like that. And yes, in case you're wondering, some spider webs here. This mask is absolutely removable, and uh, I already took it off to snap some photographs. I'm too chicken to take it off again for the you know purposes of the seeing it you know taken off on the video. So I'll just show the pictures that I took um, of you know this figure without 
the hockey mask on, but as you can see, I mean, the sculpt of the face, you know, not only the body and everything that, you know, of this figure is, is perfect, but also the face of the Part 7, the New Blood likeness, is absolutely freaking amazing as well. And, uh, yeah, I got to tell you, I mean, at, at 2003, this was like one of the first of its kind. I mean, even still now, this is just absolutely freaking, freaking amazing uh, figure and something that just towers over pretty much anything that's come out since. I mean, being 18 inches tall and stuff, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it did, I, I, I can only assume this is the accessories that it came with. I found two others that were just sitting right by where he was standing. This thing, which I think they got wrong, look at how big this is. It's like a harpoon thing. And this, I don't think he used anything like this in the New Blood movie. He'd use something very much like it in the next movie, Jason Takes Manhattan. But at any rate, it's it's kind of cool. It's this harpoon thing that's got an actual, like, a string attached to it. And it's, you know, I guess, yeah. I mean, he'd use something like this in Jason Takes Manhattan, but I guess they got the wrong movie. But this thing's hu actually kind of huge. I mean, the figure's so huge that this thing, most, you know, accessories aren't this freaking big. If you compare it to my head, I mean, it's just like... You know, it's it's pretty big. Whereas that item, I don't believe, was actually featured in the movie. You've actually got an item that was featured in the movie, um, a famous axe, which gets embedded into, uh, I can't remember her name right now, the bitch Melissa. Melissa. The bitch Melissa's head. Um, and, of course, this is a bigger axe than you're normally used to because of the scale of the figure. Um, and it would be cool to have him holding the axe, but I think his hand and arm, I don't know, it just seems better suited to hold the machete, so I've always just had him holding the machete in <clears throat> that particular pose like that ever since I got him. And I'm not exactly sure when I got him, maybe I got him in 03 or 04 or something like that, but uh, just when you thought this figure couldn't get any cooler, uh, I'm going to end the video with this. Uh, some of you may be wondering, how could this figure possibly get any cooler? Well, in a few moments, you will find out. If I can find it. Ready? <laughs> it's really... <laughs> it's really loud. Okay, now you have to endure all that. Basically, I was going to show you this other aspect to this figure. So it not only does that, but it also does this. You ready for this? Get Jason Voorhees to protect your house. Motion! That's loud. Motion sensor for the... <laughs> I can't even talk. really loud. As you can tell, this Jason also has motion activated generic ass, you know, Friday the 13th chi 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 ha 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 sound. So just when you thought the figure couldn't get any better, it can. And what's really interesting about it is I didn't even expect the batteries to still work. I would imagine it's the original batteries from when I got it. If they didn't work, I wasn't even going to bother putting in new batteries to show you guys. I just wasn't going to mention that, you know. But uh, the batteries still work. I don't know if it's the batteries from 03 or 04. I can't, um, very well could. I didn't mean, I don't think, it's not like I replace these batteries every year or anything like that. So, now, now this is an ultimate Jason Voorhees figure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the one that's coming out in December or whatever, the new one coming out from NECA is going to be really cool too. But uh, I think it's fair to say that this one is also really cool and maybe this one deserves the you know the name the ultimate you know Jason figure because I don't know if there was ever one that was ever manufactured you know officially and mass produced that was ever bigger you know as big or bigger than this you know it's really 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 pretty cool so thank you very much for watching and as always we'll
Catch you next time.